Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, MAPE's Ultra Top Systems Decorative Topping Solutions. We have some brief housekeeping before we start. Your phones are on mute. If you have any questions, please type them into the Q&A box in the corner of your screen and we'll answer them at the end of today's session, time permitting. We also invite you to visit the Decorative Topping Solutions page on our website, www.mape.us, where we have system solutions, real life case studies, technical data sheets, and more. Now, without further delay, I'd like to introduce today's speaker, Maurizio Lucarelli. A native of Italy, Maurizio has more than 20 years experience in the construction industry. Actually, he has a lifetime of experience because since 1934, the Lucarelli family has built almost 1.2 million square feet of real estate throughout Italy. Maurizio grew up managing residential development and learning about the renovation of historic buildings through actual experience. In 2010, he began working with Mape Spa in Milan, specializing in resin flooring. In 2014, he moved to the US and founded a technical consulting firm. Maurizio joined Mape Corporation in 2020 as the business development leader for cementitious and resin flooring systems, bringing his specialized knowledge here to the US market. Some of that knowledge he'll share with us today. And with that, I welcome him to the microphone. Maurizio, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for the introduction. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. So, um, ultra top systems, decorative topping solutions. We are talking about cementitious flooring solutions. Today, we will walk through the ultra top natural system, ultra top polish system, and ultra top terrazzo system. So, ultra top, that is the name of our product. We will walk through all of the systems today and we will see how we can use the Ultratop in different systems. Basically, we are using one product in different systems. Ultratop is engineered to provide extremely flooring surfaces, extremely durable flooring surfaces for uh, hotel, malls, museums, stadium, this kind of public uh, uh, and heavy traffic projects. For the system, we can see the difference between the systems. For example, Ultratop Natural System. The Ultratop Natural System is designed in order to have uh, shades on the surface. So this is the only system that we can pour and seal. This is unpolished just port and seal the ultra top polish system this is the system that we can polish with all of the polishing process techniques the ultra top terrazzo system is the most uh, important system here because with uh, this kind of technique we can uh, do three maybe four systems but we will talk about the terrazzo cementitious terrazzo at the end of this presentation so ultra top natural system the ultra top is a cementitious product so we need epoxy primer in order to bond the topping the cementitious topping into the slab concrete slab in order to do that we always recommend the surface preparation as a csp number three the epoxy primer that we have is the primary sand with full sand broadcast. We also have a faster formula. The name is Primer SN Fast, obviously with the full sand broadcast. As a cementitious topping, we can offer ultra top natural grain and ultra top white. We can color the ultra top with a lot of liquid integral colors, but we will talk about that during the presentation. As a sealers for the ultra top natural system, again, this is just poured and sealed. We can use Mappe Floor Finish 630, that is acrylic, and Mappe Floor Finish 58W, that is polyurethane system, uh, sealer. Sorry. So, this is what we can have with the ultra top natural system. 
The ultratop natural system make this kind of shades. The ultratop in this case is just poured and uh, smoothed with the smoother. So the surfaces that we can have are something like this picture. So here we are showing some projects that we did with the, the Ultratop Natural System using the Muppet Floor Finish 630 on top. So basically the Ultratop was poured, colored with the integral color, liquid integral colors, and then sealed with Muppet Floor Finish 630 that is acrylic sealer. For example, here we have our Ultratop White. We are proud to have this kind of uh, color as a base color, base power of Ultratop because with the white, that is really, really true white, we can reach a lot of colors when we put integral colors, liquid integral colors inside. Here, there is another picture on the left where we use a few colors, few Ultratops together. For example, there, we use the ultratop natural gray and the ultratop white together. So that is the reason of that shades. So basically when we are looking for no consistency in color, when we are looking for shades, when we are looking for this kind of dynamics surfaces, we need to use the ultratop natural system. Of course, we have to follow the, contra the, the control joints. So that is the rule all of the control joints must be honored. Here, an example of pouring process. So we are pouring the ultratop white in this picture with the pump, but obviously we can use also a mixing station and pour the, 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 the mixing on the, on, the, on the floor. But basically this is the technique. This is the reason why we have that kind of shades on the surface. As you can see here, we have a, we have installers that they are moving the pump with the, the, the ultra top already mixed with the water left to the right. They are moving all of the pouring process in one direction, okay? And then the other guy on the left, they, he's using a smoother. So all of the marks that we are seeing there we will have that marks on the surface when the ultra top is dry. So if we move this motor in different directions, we will have a different shades on the surface. Sometimes designers, they are asking for different shades, maybe shades like a cloud effect or straight line. That is the reason that we can do that based on the movement of the smoother. Ultra top, we can see the technical data sheet. You can download the, the technical data sheet from our website. So we are talking about extremely durable and hard surfaces. So after 28 days, 6,000 PSI. So that is the reason that we can polish when we need to polish, or we can seal and walk on top with heavy traffic solutions for the concrete slab so as you can see here on this presentation we are installing these kind of systems on the concrete slab so that is the most important point of the system we need on the concrete on the substrate we need a compressing strange at least at 3000 psi and for pull off strange at least 200 psi so that is really really important in order to make the primer work so that is the the, the requirement for the substrate the concrete preparation based on the aci or the icri concrete substrate preparation we recommend csp number three csp number three is the right surface preparation in order to have the primary sand that is epoxy primer come through to the surface into the slab and make the, the system strong all together working together csp number three so we can reach that kind of surface preparation with the short plaster the short plaster work 
with uh, this kind of uh, micro uh, micro sphere that are making the surface really really sp CSP number three for the epoxy primer. So here on the video we will see how the shot plaster can work. We always need this kind of surface preparation in order to have CSP number three. Also, we need to soak up and uh, fix the cracks with the epoxy resins. So we have Epojet or Epojet LV. Based on the cavity that we have on the crack, we can use the Epojet or Epojet LV, but the cracks must be fixed, must be epoxy fixed in order to have a continuity on the slab. We don't want to use um, sealant that make the, 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 the crack movement. So we need to, to, to bond the cracks and make the surface monolithic. We can use Epojet or Epojet LV. The epoxy primer. So we are talking about uh, primer SN or primer SN fast. That is the faster formula that we have. But we recommend 14 to 19 wet mills. So that is the right thickness in order to make the primer come through this, the substrate, come through the, the, the concrete slab. Okay. And then full sand broadcast in order to have the right texture and pour in order to pour the, the, the cement pieces product, the ultra cup. Here, some uh, tools that we recommend in order to have the, 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 the same thickness in all of the floor. So this is a picture on the right with the notch squeegee and back roll. That is the right application of the epoxy primer. Primary sand, again, the application. We need to do a full sand broadcast with the 63rd mesh sand. The dimension is not because it's just a, a, a number. So the kind of dimension makes the, the, the ultra top fixed into the surface. Basically, the epoxy primer comes to the concrete and the ultra top can approach the kind of sand dimension. The cementitious topping. We can use ultra top natural grain. Again, ultra top white. We can use this kind of techniques. Let's say job site, job site uh, uh, setup. I'm showing you these kind of pictures, and I'm walking through these kind of steps for application today because in this kind of uh, surfaces in this kind of operation in uh, cementitious toppings we always need few things so we need the best product of course products are the the component of the system but we also need the right crew that is the the key of the surface so these kind of systems can work with the right directions. For example, we are working with uh, a lot of firms, architectural firms that can provide specification. We can work together, but we can coordinate with them. Who is the right contractor to do that? That kind of project. So this is very important. Our role here, our scope is to make the system, the entire system, not just the, 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 the product work, the entire system. For us, the entire system for this kind of application is between designers, installers, and our products. We are here to help this kind of process. So um, this is a picture of the pruning process. We are mixing the, the, the ultra top with the the barrel, and then we are pouring at three eighths of inch of thickness. That is the minimum thickness we recommend. Here we can see that three eighths of inch is the right thickness for this kind of heavy traffic surfaces. 
obviously we need to use the right tools and the joint control must be honored every time. After that, into the Uchotop natural system, we are talking about the system that we can pour and seal. We can use a two different sealers. So MAPE floor finish 630 and 58W. The 630 is a two component acrylic sealer. So basically the system is that the, the texture, the, the effect, the final effect on the surface will be almost wet. The MAPE floor finish 58W, that is two component uh, polyurethane coating, is a matte finish. So we can have a different texture and different finishes on the surface. Basically, this is a little recap. We have ultra top white, ultra top gray. We can polish the ultra top or we can seal for the ultra top natural system. We can color and we can extend the ultra top. Okay. Ultratop SP, this is another product that I will show you today. Ultratop SP is gray, is the only base product that we have. Can be polished or must be polished because we can do the polished process with the Ultratop SP, can be color and can be extend. But walk through to color, we are talking about integral color. We love to use liquid integral color. Okay, for example, here, in order to have this kind of red sample, we used ultra top natural gray. Also, this other color, light brown, sand color, we use the ultra top natural gray. In order to reach a different colors, we can use the ultra top white, for example, this kind of color like a terracotta or the blue, sky blue color. We can easily use the ultra top white in order to reach that colors. Or if we are, if we want to reach, for example, the light green, we can use the ultra top white easily. So that is the reason that we have the ultra top white. We can do white surfaces, or we can do light colors with the white. Here is a color chart comes from. This is the color chart with uh, um, Ameripolish. We are working, we are cooperating with uh, a lot of uh, US companies here in US in order to have more colors. We, we can work together. Uh, sometimes we work together in order to custom the color in order to match some to match some colors that we already have on the project. So this is the, 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 um, the color base, the color chart based on the gray toppings. This is another uh, another uh, color chart com comes from uh, Prosoco, so we can work here with the, the natural gray and the natural colors. Here is a uh, Delta Performance, so we are working also with Delta Performance in all of the states in order to do custom color, and we can do this kind of operation all together. This is another example that I want to talk about with, with cooperation with other brands, with the brands that we are working together in order to offer a custom surfaces. So ultra top, we saw that we can color the ultra top, but we can polish the ultra top. Now let's work through the ultra top polish system. This is a completely different system, but we are starting from the same point, surface preparation. CSP number three is the minimum that we, we, we need to do in order to apply the epoxy primer. Primer SN, primer SN fast, full sand broadcast. Cementitious topping. In this case, for the polished system, we can also use the ultra top white, ultra top natural gray, or the ultra top SP. SP has a salt and paper. That is the texture that we have when we polish the Ultratop SP, but we will talk about the Ultratop SP in a few seconds. For polish card sealers, of course, we can use MAPECRETE Protector FF. That is acrylic polish card that, that we can use in order to reach the high glass surfaces. MAPE floor finish 630 and MAPE floor finish 58W again. So SP. This is the texture. 
we can polish the ultratop SP or the ultratop natural gray and the ultratop white in 24 hours. That is the texture, salt and paper. We have four different aggregates inside, four colors. We have the brown, we have the black, we have the light gray and the white. The mood of the surface is to reach that kind of old style concrete slab. That is the scope of the project, the, the product. Ultratop SP, again, we are talking about this kind of uh, strange compressive strange. So after 28 days, we have 6,000 PSI. And that is the reason that we can polish these products the day after. So after 24 hours, we will have something like 3,000 PSI. Ultratop SP, we are proud to say that, um, for example, in this project, we use the Ultratop SP, we polish at 800 grit as a polish process, dry polish process, and we reach DOI as a 69.9. That is a great result. Here, a project that we finished months ago in, uh, in Texas, we use the Ultratop SP. This is a picture for polishing process, and this is the final pictures of the stores. So we are using also the Ultratop white in order to do a polished surfaces. So this is a project that we did in Chicago with the Ultratop white. As you can see here, we also use a metal strip. This is a brass. Okay, this is artistic uh, work that the designers um, uh, mix into the, the, the surface. But in this case, we need also, we need to have and honor the control joint. So sometimes when we are talking about polishing process, uh, polishing surfaces, sorry, or uh, terrazzo, or terrazzo flooring, and uh, we are talking about something with uh, metal strip or metal art design. We need also to honor the control joint. We have to find the, 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 the right actions in order to have the control joints, in order to honor the control joints that we have on the concrete slab. Just because, as you can see here on the 3D uh, of, the sam of the systems, we need to work with the concrete slab. We are attaching our system, we are bounding our system on the concrete slab. We are moving our system with the slab. That is the key. Here we can also do a simple socket as we can do in commercial spaces, but we need to honor the control joint. This is a great picture on the on the left and on the right. So when you do a polish process, when you do a polish system, the ultratop can be used in different colors with metal strip in order to make a division between the patterns, within with the, 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 the design, or easily with the uh, foam that we can remove and apply the other ultratop, the other color as soon as, as possible. So uh, talking about this kind of operations, we can pour the ultratop and we can walk on top after three hours. Okay, if we have this kind of the design, this kind of design, we can easily do in uh, in, a, in a few colors the same surface working with the different different colors. So it's it's a simple to do this kind of patterns without the metal strip, just because the the dry polished the the dry sorry the 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 dry time is uh, at least three hours. Here we use the ultratop natural gray with the black color, black liquid color, in order to have this kind of surface. The ultratop SP, this is the SP. So we we polish the ultratop SP again here at 800 grit, and that is the final texture with the, the mother creek protector FF that we have in order to polish. It's a polish guard for polishing process. Talking about polishing process, so there are a few, few uh, companies on the market that can provide uh, uh, tools and uh, uh, pads for dry polishing because all of the ultratop systems are polished with dry polish 
process. We don't need to work with water. So for designers, for architects, for for owners of the projects on the on the residential uh, apartments or uh, industrial um, warehouses. So we can polish all of the ultratop systems with dry polish without any water to manage. Again, we can color the ultratops. We can polish the ultratops. Now let's work into the extended process. That means terrazzo. Okay. Ultratop terrazzo system. We are starting from the same point. CSP number three for the concrete surface preparation. Ex uh, epoxy primer with the primary sand, primary sand fast and uh, full sand broadcast as we did for the other systems. Cementitious toppings. Again, we can use all of the products that we have. Ultratop white, ultratop natural gray, also the ultratop SP. For polish guard, sealer, we can use protector FF, finish 630, finish 50 FW. The epoxy binder here for one of the three systems for terrazzo can be the epoxy binder that we have that is Mappe Floor I900. So the technique is different. We developed this technique 25, 22 years ago in Italy. We can use the Mappe Floor I900 that is epoxy binder for large aggregate. So the mixing ratio between the, the epoxy resin and the aggregates is one to 20, okay? That is the, 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 the mix ratio in order to have the right, the right uh, amount of uh, uh, resin into the aggregates. But I will show you this picture. So this is the picture um, for wet epoxy stones. Basically, in this kind of operation, this kind of system, we are working in the opposite direction. I will show you the old style terrazzo technique using the ultratop and aggregates, marble aggregates, but this is the opposite. With this kind of product that we are offering, Mappefloor I900, the epoxy binder, we can fix, we can make the design of the stones on the ground before starting the pouring process. So basically we can easily set up the stones on the floor, different color of the stones, different dimension of the stones. And then the day after, when the stones are dry, we can pour the ultratop. After 24 hours, we can polish the ultratop. For example, here we did the size number two, that means three eighths of inch as an aggregate dimension, not the, the, the little one. So the reason why we are using the large aggregates is because we need the space between the, the stones in order to pour and fill that spaces with the ultra top. If we are using aggregates like one quarter of inch as a dimension, we will have no space to fill the, the ultra top, so it doesn't work. This is a system for large aggregates. We can use large aggregates and we can set up the aggregates on the floor without metal strip, without any other products that make the surface done in 24 hours. So here, after pouring, we the, the polish process, dry polish process, as you can see here on the picture, we don't have water involved. Is it just the dust that will use the, the, the machine is, is with the vacuum system. So we don't have any dust on the, on, the, on the floor. We don't have any water on the floor to manage. So we did 200, 400, 800 grit as a final finish. And that is the texture. So as you can imagine here, we can do crazy pattern without any ultra top, without any cementitious product, just with the stones. Because when we are using the Mappe Floor I900, our epoxy binder in that kind of uh, mixing ratio, we can manage the stones with no rush. That is the scope. We can do what we want. We can do the pattern based on the design. And then the day after, if 
all of the stones are on the right spot, we can pour the ultratop, the cementitious product. If we need to make a sun change or we need to fix something, we have time to do that in order to have the right texture that we need. That is the key of the terrazzo system, old style by Mapei. Here are some pictures. So, for example, we use the same technique with the Mappe floor I900 with number two marble aggregates and ultra top white. This is the final picture. If we want to use fine aggregates like a size number zero or size number one, that means one eighth of inch, one quarter of inch, we can do a different terrazzo with different technique. In this case, we are talking about extended technique. So we can use the ultratop. We can mix the ultratop together with the aggregates. We can use a metal strip. We can do surfaces like this one. We need to honor the control joint, of course. You can see there on the picture on the, on the left, we have the control joint. We must need to honor the control joint. We can use a metal strip in order to change the colors of the ultra top or all the stones, but this is the technique in order to do the extended terrazzo. Mixing all together, we used, in this case, we used white marble aggregate, ultra top white color with integral color, liquid integral color. Here, this is a fantastic thing that we want to share with designers. So the ultra top natural gray, we use the ultra top natural gray with the marble aggregates and specific spatial aggregates. We are talking about recycled plastic aggregates. So this is the, the future. We can reach the same texture that we have with the marble using recycled products. This is the key of the of the of the surface also we have some benefits during the, the the pouring process and the polishing process working with the plastic aggregates the buoyancy force will make the aggregates on top of the surface and then when we start to polish the surface we will have the aggregates there so we will reduce the polishing process time and we will have the texture that we want to have so Ultra top with the plastic recycle aggregates. We use the blue, the red, and the white. And this is the broadcast technique with glasses, recycled glasses chip. So we can do the same technique, we can polish, we can use a different products that we have. In this picture, for example, we use the ultra top SP all together in the same floor. The ultra top SP there, the ultra top natural gray extended with the uh, marble and glass chip. So the terrazzo system is the system that we can use all of the techniques, all of the products. We can seal the, 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 the floor with the uh, finished 58, with the Mappe floor 630. We can use ultra top, the primer, the protector FF, all of the products that we have in this kind of operations. And we can do this kind of service. So, here, for example, we did the ultra top black. We pre we can do precast surface, precast pieces. For example, here this kind of old style flowers. They they made these flowers on the on the on the warehouse. They did a piece of uh, black ultra top with uh, white aggregates. They use a water jet in order to, to cut the flowers. They attach the, the, the flowers with the epoxy resin on the, on the surface, on the floor, and then they pour the other color of ultra top and aggregates. So that is the reason. We can do this kind of operation. We can do stairs. We can do uh, baseboard. We can precast the, the pieces with the ultra top as well. So we can color. We can polish, we can extend the ultra top and the ultra top SP. So all of the products that we are are certified. So we are talking about indoor CSC indoor advanced gold certification. We can reach all of the requests from no VOC content. We can work in all of the product programs in order to do a green projects. 
we can reach points for, for green projects. On our website, we can share all of the, the all of the, the, the specs for the flooring. We have a CAD drawings, we have a PDF drawings, but the most important message that we want to share with designers and the customer is that we can work together we are here in order to work together in order to share what we can do but working together to custom the surface that is the key we are producing this product as a base product in order to do custom surfaces you can see here we have the base and then you can use different aggregates and different colors and different techniques in order to have the pattern the design that we need to have we have all of the technical bulletin brochure and we can download all of these things from the website the presentation is done i'm ready for questions thank you maurizio we do have some questions uh the First is, uh, is CSP number three the minimum uh, guideline or are other CSP conditions acceptable for the installation of Ultratop Natural? Thank you for the, the, um, the question. So CSP number three is what we are recommending. Yes, yes, because we are working with the epoxy primer also the thickness of the epoxy, uh, epoxy primer is important with the kind of thickness we are sure that the penetration of the epoxy system, the epoxy primer, can be into the concrete slab if the concrete slab is with CSP number three. Great. Okay. Next question. Since Ultratop is a self-leveling system, how much can the thickness vary on a slab? So the thickness of the Ultratop can be controlled by the gauge rate that we are using so we always recommend for the natural system or for the polish system three eighths of inch we can do three eighths of inch with the gauge rate that uh, has a, a, a pre uh, preset thickness and then when we polish of course we will use the thickness but that is the reason that we are recommending three eighths in order to have less of three eighths when we finish the polish process Gotcha. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, the salt and pepper topping. Do you have other products pre-blended with aggregates? Okay, great, great question. So, <laughs> when SP is the only one that is pre-blended with aggregates, the reason is because we are using the ultra top SP in order to do large, large surfaces large large flooring for example malls or other uh, museums so the reason that we don't have other aggregates into the ultra top white or into the ultra top natural gray is because we want to custom the surface we are selling the ultra top yes I, as i i already i already shared with everybody so we are selling the product in order to custom the surface and that is the reason that we are following this kind of um, strategy. We don't want to put the, uh, uh, stones into the, 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 the formula. We want to sell our product without any stones. The installer, the contractor in this case, can custom the surface, can buy aggregates based on the, on the region that uh, they are working, based on the design, and we can custom the, the, the ultra top because our ultra top is now pre blend with aggregates. Makes sense. Here's a question Can it be used in exterior locations? Oh, thank you for, for the question. Maybe uh, I'm missing this point. No, these systems are for interior only. Yeah, that was. That was a good question. They have yeah. all been good questions, actually. Exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Bear with me. This is a long question here. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, 
can you grind the can you grind the substrate to achieve an acceptable profile for the primer and sand broadcast? Um, yes. So the the CSP number three, based on the national recommendation, the CSP number three can be read by the shot blast. But we are but but we know that with the new tools that uh, these kind of new polishing machines, brands, they are developing, so you can reach the CSP number three. But uh, right now, based on the, on the national uh, requirement, we can use the shot blast and not the grinders. Ah, and then the, the question continues. Also, uh, can you detail uh, the honoring of the joint? You mentioned strips were used. Uh, but does that allow for compression expansion in lieu of a caulking system? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, great question. So basically, I always recommend metal strip or other kind of uh, other kind of strips like uh, plastic strips. So right now, uh, everybody want to use plastic recycle and uh, uh, these kind of products in order to reach green points. But when we are using the metal strip or plastic strip that means is so it's not a, that is just a dividers is a not a control joint if we want to honor the control joint using the metal strips or a plastic strip we need to use two plastic strip or metal strips together we need to make a space we need to do the joint, we need to have that kind of space in order to honor the compression and the movement of this of this lab. That makes sense. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, following up on that, when divider strips are in place, can they get buried after the material is placed? Yes, yes, of course. So um, basically we can do the same operation we have with the uh, epoxy terrazzo with the cementitious terrazzo or with uh, the 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 topping polish toppings that we have in all the place yes okay makes sense okay can the product be used to make a cove base yes we need to precast the base so in this case we can do stairs we can do baseboard but we need to have uh, the ability to precast the the, the seven tissues product, the old stock, as everybody do, I know, in the US with the epoxy products. Yep, okay. Well, okay. What would be the preferred method to honor saw cuts versus cold joints? Can you say again, Jennifer? <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see. Um, the per, I guess this is talking about chasing the um, uh, the, the, control the joint, joint, the control joint, right? Okay, so what's the preferred method to honor this uh, saw cuts versus cold joints? Um, so, oh, okay, got you. So yep. <laughs> um, the 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 control joints. So yep. I always recommend control joint or let's say fake joints if we have a cold joint there that we need. So if we are working on the large um, mole and we need to make a um, section in order to pour the product on the right uh, actions, we need to do a cold joint. When we have that cold joint, we must need to cut the day after and put the metal and and put the 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 sealant inside, or we can use a metal strip or plastic strip in order to make the division. So all of the co the cold joint will be uh, will be noticed when we polish the ultra top or when we do the the natural system. So we can have cold joint, but I always recommend to soak at the control the, the cold joint and make the, the, the sealant inside in order to make a division. 
That makes sense. Um, okay. Can the product be used in a wet location like a shower? No, no. Uh, the, the, the product is a cement piece. Use. Also, the sealers are water based, and we don't recommend to use no. in that kind of, yeah, in that kind of uh, <laughs> situation. No. Yeah, yeah, no, that wouldn't, that wouldn't fly. Um, okay, another, another profile question. What would you recommend to seal under the brass profiles to prevent the ultra top from flowing under the strip? In order to prevent that, so I always recommend, so that is part of the polishing process. So when we pour the, 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 the ultra top, I always recommend to go a little bit on top of the metal strip in order to reach the metal strip and work a little bit on top. So I don't love to grind the, 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 um, the, the metal strip to the zero. So in that case, we will come to the, the core of the metal strip and we will have some problem uh, doing the polishing process. So of course, the key of the great result of the floor will be between products and installations. So that is the reason that we love to work with the installers that we recommend. If we have some other contractors that we don't know, please reach us and we will make in contact. We will uh, do the best in order to, to, to have you also as a contractor. So this is what we are doing right now. So we are uh, expanding our circle of contractors. We want to offer preferred installers in order to have the right installation. That's a good point. And they can reach yeah. you either directly or they can uh, reach out to us at Digital at mophey.com. And uh, we'll get that uh, contact right over to you and uh, make those connections because this is a yes. great opportunity. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that goes for uh, after this uh, webinar, too, if there are any further questions. Um, we'll be happy to send those right along as well. So just putting that out there. Um, yeah, so uh, I think, uh, oh, there's a question about uh, continuing ed credits available. No, this uh, this webinar uh, is just a, a MAPE webinar. It, it isn't an, one of our AAA webinars. We do. Uh, offer those. Uh, it's true in the series, but this one is not um, not yet. Maybe maybe down the road we'll have something yeah. uh, related to this, but not not this time. Um, exactly. But we can uh, we can save the contact and uh, we can reach it. You know when we have the AIA presentation for the cementitious stopping. That is usual every every few weeks with the architectural rep department that we have. Exactly, exactly. And uh, asking if they can get a copy of the presentation. Absolutely. This uh, this webinar is recorded and in about uh, two to three weeks or so it will be uh, online at uh, mapaid.com. And uh, we definitely invite you to please visit our website because um, all of our uh, webinars are online and um, you know, there's just a wealth of information and, and some past AIA webinars as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, a great source of, uh, you know, information and answering questions, really. Our technical service department is uh, top notch. Um, I'm getting a lot of uh, thank yous. And uh, so I want to thank you, Maurizio, for this presentation. And we want to thank all of you for joining us today because we know that uh, you have very busy schedules and it, it really does mean a lot to us that you take time out to uh, join us and, and listen to uh, our presentations. So um, with that, I guess we'll uh, bring this one to a close and uh, again, invite you to visit our website and our Ultra Top Decorative Toppings page. Uh, the website is www.mape.us. If you have any further questions or want to reach out uh, to Maurizio, it's mapedigital 
at mopaid.com. And uh, thank you again. Thank you, Maurizio. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you uh, next time. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.